This is a review of the Seek thermal camera. This model is for Android and it has a micro USB. The lens is adjustable. If you turn it all the way to the left, it'll focus on stuff about four inches away. You download the Seek thermal app from Google Play. The camera works in a Moto G6, Moto X Pure, and a first generation Moto G. Here's the first generation Moto G. This has a really low spec value. It's got a slow processor, one gig of RAM. So the Seek camera can work on even a low end device. The camera makes a little clicking noise. And there's something mechanical moving inside. And what that is, is the camera adjusting and focusing. With my Moto G6, it has a USB-C port. I had some of these adapters, but they wouldn't work. You have to get a special kind that supports on-the-go. These are the ones that you need to buy. They're made by WeDuda. This is an old DSL modem, and I'm going to turn it on and watch as all the parts heat up. I'm going to use this little plastic thing to point out parts. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. The camera is in default mode. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. The camera is in default mode. Now I'm going to show the different modes. This is normal mode. It's the default. This is normal mode, but it also shows the temperatures the high and low. That chip is 280 degrees. This setting is called the full frame setting and that's my second favorite thing. It shows a lot more detail. There's the center of that chip just scorching hot. This is called the span and level and you can move these sliders to show what temperatures you want to adjust to. And then these are threshold above, equal to, or below. And you can scroll the temperature right here. I'm not really sure if this is very useful for what I need. There's the equal to, and you can move the temperature right there. Here's the above. And then down here, there's the spot where you can move the camera around and it shows right in the center what the temperature is. And then this is called the thermal plus mode where it's half thermal, half the phone camera. And you can adjust this. You pinch and zoom. So it kind of shows half the camera, half thermal. Give you an idea on how close it'll focus. Here's a penny. So here's that penny. Here's the chip and those little capacitors. And it'll make out most stuff. To get really close detail, you can buy a macro lens on eBay. It costs $64. People that work on iPhones and stuff need to get these really small capacitors. Use this type of lens. The main reason I bought this camera is for electronics repair. This is an arcade machine. I'm going to turn this on and watch as all the components heat up. Here's the power supply. I have the lens turned all the way and you can make out a lot of detail. That fuse is 95 degrees. And here's the monitor chassis. You can see you can make out all the capacitors and the chips. Here are the circuit boards. Notice this one cable 
There's a lot of heat going through it. The camera is about four inches away from the board. Let's see, that part right there is that chip. It's 135 degrees. Now I'm going to show the monitor of this arcade machine. Look at the chassis. So this is the back of the D9200 arcade monitor. Now I've got it in temperature mode. Shows the neck is 165 degrees. I chose the C camera because it has better resolution, better frame rate, and there's no battery. The FLIR 1 camera has lower resolution, a slower frame rate, and has an internal battery. And the FLIR lens isn't adjustable. Now I'm going to scan the ceiling of this living room. You can see the heat coming from the cathedral ceiling. It's a 96 degree day outside. I'm also going to scan the interior of my garage. There's the water heater. And the attic space above my garage isn't insulated. So that's one thing I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put some insulation up there. There's my cat. It comes with this little carry case, has a rubber insert, I also bought this micro USB extension cable and you've got to get the correct kind, not all kinds will work. This model does. It also works with the C adapter plugged into the Moto G6. Some people use extension cables because they'll permanently mount this on like a microscope arm. And to transfer files from the phone to the computer, you open internal storage, movies, and then there's a seek thermal folder. And that's where the video files are. 